Hey there guys, this is Minecraft Boss here, and today we are going to be playing some Minecraft Pocket Edition. And in this episode, we are going to be playing, well, showcasing, well, we're going to be visiting the Cake Factory. I'm going to be inviting a couple of my friends, well, and hopefully they'll show up, I don't know. As you can see, it said that my invites didn't send, so... That sucks, but anyways, first off, let's go ahead and head over to the Sub Valley to check out, uh, to check out, uh, the new Sub Valley entry. So, let's head past our airport and past Horse Island, in which the airport resides, and head on to here. And our newest Sub Valley entry is Antony Bro Gaming. He's our most recent subscriber, as well as our most active subscriber, as well as um, the one that's commented the most. He's doing gaming, kind of like what I do. And did I really send them any invites? And um, yeah, so that's basically it. So Antony Bro Gaming, welcome to Sub Valley. Basically, in this episode, we're going to be showcasing the cake factory that I made. And it took me a couple hours to get all the redstone mechanics working and everything. But, um, yeah. So, currently, everything's grown. I've grown all of the wheat. I've grown all of the sugar cane. Everything has been grown. And, basically, that's what we're going to do. Of course, first, though, we're going to need a bucket. Because, you know, milk. And I can't really automate that part of it. But the rest of it... Controlled just by a few presses of a single button. Just like seriously, like press it, then wait like five seconds, press it again, wait another five seconds, press it again. And then I'll show you, I'll, I'll, first I'll show you guys what it does, and then second I'll show you guys how it all works. But first, of course, we're gonna need one, two, three buckets. Not, not feathers, but buckets, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So, you want to head over to here. Also, if you guys may have noticed, I now have a new texture pack. This is the Faithful HD pack, which is made by Jackie Gamer. So, thank you to Jackie Gamer. Shout out to you for the awesomeness that you've provided us with. Uh, make sure I'm on per peaceful. Good, I am. And let's go ahead and do this. So, first, of course... There's the cow that's supposed to be in there, but uh, for some reason isn't. So, um, it's not good. And, uh, yeah, um, that's the only problem that there is with this. Animals sometimes despawn, and I can't really help that, but, yeah, that's not very good so I have to go find a cow and then cake factory will be ready so let's go ahead and find a cow I normally it would be in there but like I said it despawned so that's the only really bad thing the, the only real thing messed up in my thing is that they can despawn, which is 100% normal. I don't know a way to fix that, but I will be constantly looking for one, and if you guys know any ways to make it so that animals don't despawn in my world, please tell me. Also, I just saw a cow over here, so I'm going to go ahead towards it. Okay. Suck the milk dry. Oh, no! Stop it. I don't know why he keeps doing that. For some reason, it just, it just does that for some reason. There's bugs and stuff that makes you, like, automatically drink it and crap like that. So, yeah. Once I update to 15.3, because currently I'm on 15.2, once I update to 15.3, all those bugs will be fixed and no more throwing out signs or accidentally drinking milk. Okay, 
so let's head over to our island, and then from there to the cake garden. Actually, we can pass the sub garden on the way, because that's probably an easier way. Okay. And over here. And then over to here. So guys, what you want to do is you want to press this button. You want to go over here. Now this would release the egg, which I just got. Then you want to go back and press it again. And you'll let the sugar cane down, and then press it again, and you'll get the wheat, the extra wheat. And this time I didn't get much wheat, because it hasn't all grown. But yeah, that's basically how it works, and everything. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that's basically how it works. And I'll do it again later, once everything's worked. Oh, here's another wheat, seems like. One got shot out, and uh, another seed. Looks like one wheat and one seed got shot out, which isn't good. Maybe we'll even find that second one if it just never grew or something. Maybe we'll be able to find it. Okay, but basically, here is how it works. Uh, first, let me find the stairs. Uh, that's not the stairs. That we need to go up. We need to go up. Uh, these stairs. So first stop up here is the chicken uh, egg producer. So basically the way this works, uh, I mean, you can't, you guys can't see it. You guys can't actually see it. Ah, here's the extra stuff. So basically here is where we're going to have all the wheat. Here we have all of our sugar cane and I'll just break that extra one. And then down here, we have a bunch of chickens and a half slab so that they can't get through, but anything they drop can. And basically, using all those mechanics and a couple pistons, we're able to push all of the ingredients down into the trap door and then from the trap door into the, um, onto the ground. And then from the ground into our inventory, and then from the inventory to the crafting table, and then we craft the sugar, and then we craft the cake, and then we place down the cake, and then uh, we uh, eat it, like that. And I'm gonna turn off, turn on my difficulty to normal and then go put all my stuff away, so that I can uh, lose a little bit of health. Or hunger, because I'm hungry for cake. So basically, that's how it works. Basically, the chickens are in a half slab thing, so that only items, but not them, fall into it. Unless it's a baby chicken. If it's a baby chicken, the baby chicken will fall through. But there are no baby chickens in there, so we're all good. And they can't uh, lose their growth, so. Yeah. Um, the sugar cane is just placed right next to the big waterfall thing. So it automatically grows it, and then it has a piston that is activated by that button. And then same thing for the wheat. It's right next to water. This pushes it down into the trap door, and then also has pistons that push it. So, yeah. There we go, guys. So, yeah, that is basically how my cake factory works. And... I was going to build it all on video, but then the recording ended up being like two hours long. And I had to go into creative and grab my stuff because like I had to keep going back and I was like, you know what, let me just throw it all out and then grab it all in creative. And uh, yeah, that's actually basically what I ended up doing. As well as uh, I had reached the max file size, so I couldn't actually um, do anything else. So yeah. But anyways, let me go ahead and finish the cake. 
one slice left. Let me just lose a little bit of health. Hunger. Hunger, I mean. Keep meaning hunger. Hunger. Don't want to lose no health, but I do want to lose some hunger. And there we go. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this fairly small cake factory tour. Please leave a like, maybe, and subscribe if you want some more content like this. And good bye!